I think there was some merit in what they were saying for sure. You know, I think, you know, the, I wouldn't say every single word was, um, was, was gospel, but I think the broad thrust of the name for, for um, substantial organizational change was spot on. And I look forward to working with the young people and the YO and building the YO and the Patriots because we are obviously weak in that demographic and those organizations need to be strong and I hope to work with them. I look forward to doing that. Within my own constituency, Dion, the South St. Andrew YO organization is, has grown tremendously since I've become member of parliament. I include them in all of my activities and I support them and they provide a freshness, a creative energy, which I love being around. So in the sense that there was a strong move um, from various quarters pursuing change. And that was ultimately what the, the, the challenge that of, for the leadership was about. But that is behind us now. And I think we need to bury those um, issues because I don't think it's helpful to revive them or continue with them. Um, the spirit of renewal is what we're about. I believe in being authentic and true to oneself and uh, um, offering oneself to the people and presenting yourself in a true way and, and in the best possible light you can. Um, I think that, you know, I was very involved and in fact pioneered um, the legislation, for example, to decriminalize ganja in Jamaica, which has benefited thousands of youths who have had their criminal records expunged, who are no longer subject to arrest and detention and so on. A lot of young people give me ratings for that. You know, I've, I'm into the football, the world of football, which young people love. Um, I'm chairman of Arnegan Football Club. I was very involved in the recent process that has resulted in a complete overhaul of the arrangements of the Premier League. I've been involved in the music industry. I was one uh, co-owner of a label uh, with a studio. You know, we released three albums. You know, I, I've, I have a lot of aspects of my personality that people don't know. But when they get to know me, they will, I think, see that I'm somebody who is relatable and who I think young people can feel comfortable with. So I may not be the most hyped person in the world, but I think I have some substance to me and I have some aspects to my personality and my past and my history which are, I think will be intriguing and attractive to young people.